from the internet for free at uvnc.com. Uh, they do want donations. Would appreciate it if you donate a few dollars to uh, help the cause. Cause free software is not free, but uh, you can download it for free at uvnc.com. This is a program that will allow you to remotely see other people's computers and allow other people to see your computer. Uh, but you can set it up so that you need a password to access it. So this is a Windows 7 machine. I'm going to go through an install on it. Uh, there are multiple languages here. I'm English, obviously. So next, accept the license agreement. Next. And then this is where it wants to install it to. Now you get the choice of full installation, server only, which means people will be able to view my desktop, server only silent, which means people will be able to view my desktop and I wouldn't know. So uh, this is good when you have children that you want to watch. Uh, and then ultra VNC viewer only, which means I can view other people's desktops, but they can't view mine. I'm just going to do the full installation and it folder uh, download Vista add-on sure download the mirror driver now I want to register this as a service so it starts as soon as I turn the computer on and restart the service if necessary uh, create icons on the desktop you may or may not want this if you want people not to know that you're connecting to it then you want to go back and do server silent and do not create icons uh, and then VNC file extension so you can save links on your desktop but I wouldn't recommend that to uh, where you just click on the link and it automatically connects to a remote machine so next install this is going to run on ports 5800 and 5900. That's usually the VNC defaults. So you may want to change that if uh, you're doing this in a business environment. And uh, it made three different icons on my uh, desktop here. So it configured the firewall for me already as well. Now at this point it pulls up the uh, settings screen and I need to change the password. It will not work if I do not put a password in. It won't work at all. And I can also choose custom ports right here. By default it's uh, 5900, 5800. But if I need to come back and edit the settings I go to start all programs, Ultra VNC, edit settings. Since this is seven, I'm going to run as administrator for good measure. So this is the uh, settings file and security. I put in a password there. Uh, Ultra VNC is cool because it lets me transfer files between machines, much like remote desktop will. A lot of VNC programs won't let you do that. And there's lots of other settings here, but uh, the big one is the uh, the port numbers. Auto port is fine or preferences and remote desktop. Uh, I want to allow others to see this desktop and then, uh, anyway, I'm going to quit and um, 
I have a, an Ubuntu machine available. And Ubuntu has VNC, but it won't allow me to transfer things back and forth. But uh, I need to know what my IP address is. One nine two one six eight zero fifty nine. Ubuntu already has a uh, remote desktop or VNC available. I just need to go to uh, administration. This option will give me, will allow me to confirm whether I want to allow people to access my desktop. In other words, I'll get a message when somebody tries to connect. I don't want to do that, but I do want to require a password. And I'm going to choose to their computer, install this program on their computer, and it's the same password for both machines. So we'll configure it to automatically accept connections and uh, never display an icon. So close. So if I want to access my Windows 7 machine. I'm going to come down here to Internet and Remote Desktop Viewer and connect. And I knew the IP address was 192.168.0.59. This is important because if you're supporting family at a distance, which if people know you know about computers, they will call you and ask you questions all the time. So you can set up port forwarding of 5800 and 5900 on their network, and you can access their uh, their machine remotely. If you have uh, numbers or symbols of upper and lower case letters, three out of four is generally good. You can do all four of those. Uh, it should be should be eight. I've seen some people recommend 14 characters long, but make sure you pick a nice, long, complex password so that it's not easily hackable. Because once you start doing this stuff on the internet, people will attack you. So that's the IP address of the Windows 7 machine. I just click connect, and it wants the password. And uh, it's important at this point that you have a larger screen than the person you're trying to connect to. Because as you can see, these both of these screens have the exact same resolution.